uh, Rahul is setting his uh, laptop and uh, yes. can you see my screen now? Yes, it is. Okay, so today, thank you all, first of all, being here and uh, staying up till now. Uh, and today we are into the uh, very nice initiative by S International and EduFam about global entrepreneur skills training. Okay, so uh, Dr. Ram, as usual, came up with his nice slides and nice information, very unique uh, piece of information. And as usual, Dr. Halima, lot of activities, lot of engagement and uh, her typical way of presenting and giving the knowledge. And now we are going into the our uh, next part, which will be uh, like talking about just a minute. So this is about developing money mindsets. And I'm Rahul Patki. So I will introduce myself first. And I'm ER Rahul Patki. Someone uh, said Dr. Rahul Patki a few minutes back. Uh, but that's fine. Every time on Dr. Halima's platform, whenever I talk, most of the time I become a doctor. So I, I need to take it seriously. So yes, I will think about that. So yes, here I am. Can you see my screen again? Yes, yes, we can see it's beautiful. Okay. So I'm Rahul Patki. And I'm basically a grow reach coach. Plus I am an NLP uh, master practitioner. I will be soon author. It's my work is done. I've wrote my book. The process is going on, authoring process. The publishing process is going on. So yes, I'm uh, author soon. So I'm a creator of 10X Grow Reach Formula. So yes, that is one of my program. And I'm helping my community through that program who are struggling uh, with their debt, home loans, other loans, and poor cash flow. That is one of the important uh, aspect. A lot of people struggling right now. Uh, so they can uh, live a stress-free life with path to abundance, so abundant life. Uh, I am known as Richie Rich Rahul, few minutes <laughs> like in my college days, and even Prince Patki. Okay, so that was like mostly it is in the initial days of uh, college, initial days of career, and still they remember. And recently, there is new film coming, uh, RRR. So people started again calling me Rich Rich uh, Rich, Rich Rich Rahul. So it is RRR. So recently on my WhatsApp group, that started. That trend is started. Uh, so yes. And what I'm doing, I explained about my career in automotive field, but now since I will just talk about the, my uh, like financial journey or personal finance journey, which is like I from 10 years, I'm doing research on uh, like uh, right investing avenues because I tried many things like uh, uh, share trading, mutual funds, so like option trading and all those things. And like, what is right for everyone? It's like most of the people, it's like a, a cryptocurrency or like a, a options trading or uh, like forest trading is not for everyone. So what is the common, commonly we can do every person, what is the best way to actually invest and earn money and build the wealth? Okay, so that were what I'm, almost like 10 years, more than 10 years for sure. Uh, so I'm, as I mentioned initially also, like I'm work means like I have tried almost everything in investing uh, era. Okay, so, and I learned from like international expert from like some like uh, many uh, like people who are into the investment field, working with SEBI and all those things, like I've worked with them also. So that is, and that way, now I am on mission to help individuals to really grow rich, okay? So today, what we are doing today, so developing a rich money mindset. So that's what uh, we are talking about today, how to develop rich money mindset without investing much time and money. So that's what we will like start that journey. It is more about awareness. That is the first, uh, part you you can say so what's for you all today right so today is like we will uh, initially we will talk about the stages different stages of wealth then mindset money mindset 
and psychological part i am like a keen uh, like a learner about uh, how psychology works how the human behavior around money especially and some there are some money blocks and beliefs even there are some like uh, different aspect about money only it's again psychology or human behavior thing so are you ready are you excited yes very yes. much yes okay okay so why we are talking about that what's the matter what's happening here so uh most people are just know about like maybe just heard about right money mindset or money mindset but what exactly it is maybe they are not sure uh maybe they are literally carrying the wrong uh money mindset or maybe they are like maybe they attended something they have read something about that but acting on that is very important even though it is mindset still we need some activities we need to do few things we need to take some actions but they stay away from the actions and maybe they lack ease simplicity and right framework right guidance for the money mindset is missing okay so that might be the uh, case so yes what's the matter is like uh, we will do so one i will ask you one question so uh, the question is about like suppose you want to ask money from some for as a help to one of your friend or relative or someone how you feel or maybe while helping uh, you help some person and now you want to ask uh, money back or maybe third part how you feel while selling any product or the buying uh, means like selling any product or services can you tell me while asking money back or asking for money how you feel maybe you can uh, unmute yourself or chat uh, uh you can type in chat box however you feel let me check so question is how you feel when you ask for money hello we feel shy embarrassed for money yeah okay feeling undermine okay happy good anything else yeah. answer shy i heard shy answer yes yeah. someone said embarrassing yes i i said embarrassed okay okay so yes that's the matter feeling undermine like shy or embarrassing that are the some of the yes feeling happy is then good if you are feeling happy to help and asking money back then that's a good thing but most of the people feel this like they feel uh, like undermine or like shy or guilty okay so main reason behind that we will talk about that in the coming uh, topics but before that let me go ahead okay so we will talk upon that definitely but before that we will uh, we will go through one of the important part right now we are facing it right covid 19 so we are into still that 2019 20 especially 2020 will be remembered for next few decades 2021 you can say because of the whole damage happened to the economy now as we are talking about uh, like money so definitely economy will come into the picture otherwise there are a lot of damages happened to because of covid 19 but uh, right now in this session we will talk about the uh, like what are the exactly uh, impact because of uh, on economy so uh, what happened is like many rich people even rich people i am talking about yes it is common it, it's in the news you might have seen you might have experienced like someone uh, you know Re poor people definitely struggle a lot but even like rich people who are like wealthy having a good businesses even they are even uh, right now trying to cope up okay so they uh, maybe first uh, lockdowns and everything was bad and then uh, second came into picture and now we are going into the third one so that is definitely they are struggling and common people yes so they are like uh 
like they not only in india everywhere in the world they are struggling they are like very in difficult position and that's the very uh, like that is because the struggle is because of little bit of because of uh, you can say the less knowledge about uh, how money works the money mindset people always thought about money is about like the savings and all those things but there are a lot of things uh, in picture and uh, basically the what main major uh, impact which is going to affect for a few more years is the investment is getting affected so they they will not get they are not getting enough returns and all those things so that's why the rich people also affecting not only poor poor is like definitely they are direct uh, getting the direct impact so uh, so from there like now people are started reinventing or what is the exact the thing and it is like in uh, in bigger platforms in uk every few uh, months back i attended one webinar which there was like very wealthy people from uk and there was some speaker from us who are like trying to find out the road map how to come out of this uh, financial situations so yes it is like affecting every stages of uh, uh, human kind so for that even we need to act on that right we need to act and there is a in the end of this session i will give you a, one bonus or you can say a, one important document which you uh, you will get in the end and that is that will like a kind of start reinventing or restarting few things definitely it is like just uh, some like uh, uh, records how right now before going to the richness or going for the abundance you first thing we need to be aware about exact situation of uh, current like money mindset and some like uh, uh, typical ways of uh, how to manage money so uh, uh, stay there i will share that uh, uh, document maybe in the end in the chat box or in the uh, uh, like in the group but better way it is we will see that document and i will explain few things about that okay so that is one of the takeaways today from that uh, today's session next is yes now uh, the important part is like a uh, well stages okay so just a minute yes so there are like now this is the topic what we are talking i just made uh, because i i always love that is my way of uh, delivering the value is first i like to talk about why we are uh, talking about this particular topic so this is all the reasons and the covid 19 uh, was one of the reason we need to take it seriously how to manage money and how to like a, even in difficult situation how to uh, go up up on ladder okay so before that yes now uh, the topic is wealth stages okay so there are stages you cannot uh, directly go to the as abundance phase or like some better way everybody in almost even all the rich people even though they are like at uh, uh, maybe uh, born in rich family they, they there is a, some uh, like uh, reasons or there are some stages they even they climb okay so we'll go to the next and this is the main thing or you can say these are the well uh, well stages sixth six well stages okay so now you can see on the screen so first thing is uh, first stage you can say solvency stage okay so we, why we are uh, trying to understand this because this is very base base of the whole uh, money mindset structure or money mindset concept okay so solvency is one of the very basic phase or uh, stage of the life uh, most of the people so basically what is solvency so in this case the uh, it is just like uh, the people who are just started earning or uh, maybe some like a students who are having very small uh, pocket monies and all those things so this is that stage when you have very low uh, very few expectation from life or uh, uh, very few things in your hand to uh, go up so life is all about like uh, doing some basic stuff maybe some paying uh, bills basic bills and there is no uh, like there is no 
investment and everything in this uh, at this stage there is no investment in the into the picture okay this might be very theoretical part but just focus and this is like as i said this is the best base for the next discussion uh again the next stage is stability okay so stability is most of the like those uh, poor people or the sometimes so lower middle class people even they are into this phase where uh saving comes in picture from this stage otherwise in first stage there is no saving or something like that before that there is a stage of uh, like dependency but we are not talking about dependency because this is just about the personal finance right and uh, if a person is not earning his dependent that is not part of wealth stage first stage for us is solvency then is the uh, stability where there is no savings or very little saving they spend less than earning okay that is the only thing and that's why they uh, like saves little amount of money and like a reserve uh, uh, amount or reason uh, reserve uh, money is rarely into the picture next stage is security okay so security yes now you can consider a middle class people this is kind of ramp up phase from here you can start your like abundant journey but this is very early stage okay so where you are having little bit about uh, uh, savings and investments maybe small investment those start here mostly people are here and maybe the compounding you must have heard compounding but don't worry we will not talk about, talk about compounding now but just as i mentioned least it is like a very basic uh, uh, like kind of concept but we are not talking just but it is about investment so i am just talking about that because investment comes into the picture in the security phase and in this case like they have some like a, a reserve amount in their accounts for like one month two months they can survive like that so that is the security phase so uh, why we are talking about this uh, like stages is like uh, there is 70 to 80% of indian population remain in this three phases solvency stability and security and they spend not just years but generations in these three phases only okay so maybe they'll climb the right now this generation might be in sol solvency very poor maybe next generation might be get stable next generation might might be in, uh, go into security phase where they are now in uh, earning or giving some investment but still at, i'm talking about india it is 70 80% but worldwide it is more than that it's around 85% all the population is either it stays into the dependence phase or solvency stability security uh yes sorry i am talking about something like after dr halima's energetic session i am talking about something uh, about money and that to uh, such a uh, like a depend uh, depressing thing but uh, this is important to make the right money mindset to this is just awareness right awareness is very important first thing and these are the real like a uh, surveys happen and these are the uh, figures from that but yes now the good part independence this where now we are like going into this and last 10 15 years we many middle class people are now climbing to this phase where it is independence phase where there are uh, long term returns are they are earning from the uh, their investments or like uh, whatever they are doing with uh and they are uh, getting enough return to pay for their lifestyles now that paying bills like rent so electricity phase that is like a uh, initial phase but now they can manage whole lifestyle just by investment returns okay so that's the uh, one important part and many uh, like middle class are climb climbing this ladder uh, in this decade and next phase will be next this decade is india uh, india will uh, produce lot of uh, independent people in next uh, in this decade so that is a good part and next part is uh, freedom okay so 
freedom, financial freedom. You might have heard about financial freedom uh, on many platforms, maybe may have read about that. So this is the financial freedom part. Okay, so a lot of people and currently in this like 10, 15 years, not only India, whole world is talking about maybe in this uh, like 10, 20 years, I will say. So why they are talking about that? Because money, earning is not uh, only way, means like uh, financial freedom is not about earning more. Okay, so till this phase, independence, more money means more uh, rich person. It's that concept is little bit washing away. Now people are, it's not about earning more, it's having uh, income, which is free from time and location. Till now that, uh, that concept was like, if I need to earn money, I need to work for this particular hours and go for this particular location, maybe office, factory, business, whatever it is. That was the concept till now, but now it is changing. People are now realize that for to earn money, you don't need to be at particular location and to need to invest particular amount of time always. So even like a richer people few years back used to like uh, go for the like there was a need for the uh, uh, depend on time and location. But no, that is now changing. Uh, there are a lot of people who are financially free because they are earning money without worrying about time, what, what time they are working and what time they are where they are working. So that is the new era, you can say, gift of this decade. Okay, so, uh, and why I'm saying this is a new thing, like even some good people, rich people are not financially free. This is the one of the thing you need to realize. Maybe there are like, I, I have, I know uh, one of the doctor uh, from Mumbai. He earns like 1.5 lakh per operation and he uh, like comfortably uh, do three operations per day. So you can understand. Uh, if he can stretch, he can do the five operation in a day and he charges around 1.5 lakh per operation. But still, he is not financially free. You can un understand his monthly income and yearly income. No need to go into that. But he is not financially free because he needs to be there at that his hospital to earn money. If he is not there, like uh, in second phase, he was like... Uh, uh, like affected by COVID and 15 days he lost and literally he struggled it's like how to now uh, like because the uh, uh, less knowledge about how to manage money he, he was very good with earning money but how to manage money how to uh, like channelize it and all those things so yes financial freedom is uh, you need to really understand there are many gurus many youtube videos a lot of people are talking about financial freedom but here we are talking about real what is real financial freedom so that is the one of the thing and uh, apart from that from independent phase and freedom phase we uh, one more concept come into the picture is like they have some certain amount of money reserve for like if they lo lose the job or something like that so in independence phase like they have six months of experience even though they are not working they can survive for six months okay that was not available for maybe first three phases maybe they have one more two months they can survive but not more than that even in freedom phase they can like go for one or even two years without working that is possible but the main part, abundance, here there is no limit. They have everything they need for life. Even they, if they uh, stay on put for lifetime, they can like survive. So can you tell a few names who, uh, which are coming in your mind? They can like from India maybe, like they have this phase. There are many actually, but uh, I like to know in chat or in uh, by unmuting, like who are into this abundance phase. They don't need to uh, think about the expenses, but one of the things they don't need to think about money at all. Money, growth. 
Yes, obvious. I was expecting this name for say yes. Not only Ambani, Adani, and there are hundreds of name. Even some of some of our politicians no need to think about their source of income. But yes, they are into this abundance phase. Why? Because they have they no need to think about money nowadays, and they have many source of income. This starts from maybe your uh, like uh, independence phase. There are like uh, two sources of income. for them for uh, uh the financial free people it's like sometimes it is a uh, three four sources of income and for abundance it is like likely this is average world average they uh, recognize and to be abundant there are many times there are seven flows of income they are earning from seven different avenues uh, not only avenues like uh, seven different businesses or maybe land or something like that and this is global average and that's the way maybe you are thinking seven flow how to generate we are struggling with the one income and they are having seven flows seven incomes so yes that's possible once you go into the independence phase with two or three uh, source of income it is very easy trust me so i have uh, like i have studied that i have worked with one of the person who were having like a six, six sources of income and very easy to go easy easy with his life okay so uh, yes this is a base that's what i'm talking about maybe little uh, too theoretical talking about too much numbers and all those things but this is very important this is this must you know must understand about this phase so um, this is if solvency is number 1 and abundance is number 6 can you just uh, type in chat box where do you feel you are right now please now i need answers because this is very important accordingly i will talk in the next uh, phases mm, security okay yes and don't worry about like uh, where india is where go global average is just be honest and just uh, type the number this is 1 2 solvency is 1 stability 2 security 3 independence 4 freedom 5 and abundance 6 so can you type in chat box don't be shy or students you can say you are in uh, uh, zero phase because that is dependent phase okay riana 3 great others please please type because we can accordingly i can give examples i we can talk around that and uh, <laughs> you may think who the six number people why it, he will come into the any uh, like uh, like any webinar about money they never think it about it but yes for encouragement la, like a few days back one of uh, richest person from uk was there in one of the my friends webinar where i was like attendee only but yes i was like with him so yes it is there they can come into our webinars just for curiosity what people are thinking okay dr ram so as i mentioned he is here the person with seven flows of income minimum seven or 6 to 7 whatever i don't know but he is here so abundant person is already here with us as i mentioned it's not like uh, uh, like they uh, even though they never think about money they are here to guide us maybe uh, to give us what young people are thinking about money or what are the other people think about money so they might be in us and here we have one person with us apart from that yes i have seen two two so yes that is as i mentioned this is a global average like say, global average is 85% are in first three phases and you can any webinar anywhere you go and you will realize that uh, this numbers there will be any only one person people who are into the abundance club and we have one person so we are really blessed we can have a lot of guidance from him but yes before that now we will go to the the next phase which is now like uh, we will do one exercise are you all ready can you come on camera
so now we talked about world and india and uh, 130 crore population maybe 700 800 crore population but now it's about you okay so now we need to come here in this room where wherever you are and we are now thinking about like yes earning we already explained earning money is not equal to being wealthy okay so even though you are like maybe in some certain phase as i mentioned like maybe two three whatever it is that doesn't mean like you cannot climb the ladder and go for the five six stage okay because earning money is not equal to being wealthy you can be a wealthy but before that we need to do some we need to understand where we are and what is our self image rich image i i always say that what is our rich image so for that as i mentioned you can uh, standing is not important but coming on camera i will really appreciate that we are going to do one small you can say meditation or small exercise are you ready yes sir we are ready okay great 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 so yes uh, now sit straight spine straight neck straight dr halima it's for you also okay yes so sit straight and uh, spine straight this is also important this is part of meditation so definitely and here you need to imagine few things no need to tell anything just keep your eyes closed now when i will say just keep your eyes closed and i will give you some instruct instruction uh, again i will ask for a few questions but no need to answer just note that uh, things in your imagination okay clear okay and i will appreciate even those who are not on camera do the exercise this is kind of very important thing close your eyes and now just little deep breathing inhale from your nostrils and exhale slowly from your mouth inhale from your nostrils exhale slowly from your mouth just focus on your breathing now just be with yourself don't worry about world what they are doing what is uh, india doing just you now and now imagine yourself as a rich person wealthy person just imagine look at yourself whatever coming into in front of your uh, eyes or in your imagination just observe that you yourself as a wealthy person rich person and just now observe cleanly is that image is it colorful or is it a like little uh, gray side is it bright or blur watch closely is it bright or blur is it close or is it far from yourself from where you are watching again next whether it is in the center in front of your eyes means where you are seeing it the image is it into the center or is it into the left or into the right keep your eyes closed neck straight back straight maintain the posture because this is very this is also important for your imagination again is it up down or into the center just observe keenly you have to observe like the uh, the uh, color is it bright is it close or far whether it is the center left right or it is up down or into the center in front of you is it a big size like big size means like very big size as a like in multiplex or it is like a size of tv or is it is the size of laptop screen or just a mobile screen just just observe yourself and just last question how will how you are feeling looking at yourself what are the feeling just note that just notice 
Okay, hope you imagine everything and now just rub your hands and just uh, keep on your eyes and just open your eyes. Okay, how you felt? Very good transformational journey. Okay, so now I just need to need some uh, questions, means like answers. So how was, uh, have you imagined your uh, face? Uh, how was the, means like color of whole image? Is it, was that bright on all those things? Just need to explain. First thing is how, have you observed your own face? Or is, was that a body or you seen it from far, far or there are many people, your family and all those things. So what was the image? That That is one important question. So I think I've seen some chat. Okay, refresh, relax. That is because of we initially uh, done some breathing and we close the eyes. My that imagination also... was my like uh, the bank where quite often I go. So, uh, can you please repeat how my imagination was the bank building okay okay, okay. Where I go quite often <laughs> yes <building>. okay <laughs> that's really nice so uh you were alone or there were some people with you no alone i was alone okay and you've seen your face right yeah okay what about others I'm not going to ask the bank balance in your account, but just we need just these things. What clothes were you were wearing or what was the... You say a good pleasure to us. I pleasure. Feel... Okay. I realize myself it's a sweetheart. Okay. In that uh, moment. Mm -hmm. So again, the question to you, you've uh, seen yourself, right? Okay, anyone else can explain? You can chat or uh, type in chat box also. That's fine. It was very calm, but I feel very dark. Okay, dark. Yes, uh, that's what I asked. Like, uh, was that bright or blur or very dark? It, was that close or far? Anyone? Like, it was like it's, you were seeing. It's very close. Okay, uh, that's very good. close, but very calm and uh, completely dark. Okay. And anyone else, like it was up, down, or it was blur, it was the um, image was not colorful, or anyone, we, I have not seen my face, or I have seen nothing, it's like no imagination happened. Is there anyone, something, someone like that? Please speak up, whatever it is, no worries. It's just, it is, uh, it is not deciding anything for about us. Close, blood, blurred, okay. Um, when I started to, you know, think about myself, uh, mm -hmm. and that time it was a bit difficult to, you know, imagine something that I am in this uh, particular stage. But mm. casually, I, I, I was trying, and I was trying repeatedly. I was trying, 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 and then uh, suddenly I feel that uh, yes, I have started to imagine something. <laughs> okay, okay. So yes. Uh, today, money mindset is a lot about neuros, um, our, how our brain works and all those things, because I love uh, talking about that. And basically, uh, like we will talk a lot about around uh, how our brain works and all those things. So first thing, good news means like good thing, those who have seen their own faces, that is the first requirement. Whether the uh, picture is bright, blur, colorful, left, right, center, doesn't matter. First requirement, you should see yourself. Okay, most of the uh, like those who are not good with the money, not earning, st feeling stuck with the, their uh, finances, they cannot see their face clearly. If you ask, say, uh, Ambani or if you ask Elon Musk, uh, they will be very clear image, very close to them, very bright, colorful, something like that will emerge. And this is, again, this is study. This is not my own made up things. Apart from that, those who are not... Uh, 
even though they are observing themselves uh, maybe just body even that is not enough but suppose someone is seeing their face it should be bright it should be close it should be uh, bright dark is not there is some blockages then center left should not uh, left right should not be there it should be very exactly into your center and big size picture should be there that is main like like this is kind of uh, studies happened and from that it is like they observed how rich people imagine themselves or see themselves this is our self image okay and don't worry it is suppose someone is there for who have not observed themselves no imagination happen even that is a kind of blockage but don't worry there are solutions there are like we can improve our self image there are ways there are science scientific ways even so uh, this is the thing this is part of money mindset maybe you heard about this or you experience about this i don't know but this is very basic thing about the money mindset how you see you see yourself okay and if it is a, like very clear you are you will be very clear about how to go uh, go up the ladder okay otherwise you will struggle okay that this is uh, like a true science okay so the uh, now we will go for the next slide we have less time uh and this is all uh, earning money saving money the uh, like uh, growing money everything is here in between your two uh, two years you must I means like no logic behind that right it's all about brain and that's why we are talking about a uh, lot of about brain today and just now few minutes back we have seen the how brain works like brain have some limited capability of listening okay that's why rihana ji was into the like uh, break uh, into the waiting room she came back she started talking and there were like many people started talking and she just stopped because her brain was like confused it, it can process certain amount of uh, like uh, noises or voices at one particular moment it cannot process many noises so that is just a good example which happened just few minutes before in our break, uh, in our uh, session so that's the importance of brain so brain have some limitations brain have some like very good capabilities so we need to under, uh, learn how to use that capabilities and how to overcome some limitations okay so that was a very good example and that's why we are talking especially in money mindset and with the grow rich we always talk about these aspects of the money okay so here now we will just quickly go through the neuroscience behind uh, money mindset the subconscious associations and the last one is strategies okay strategies is a another part means like we will talk in maybe another session or something but i will tell you just what is what are the strategies okay but main part main focus is neuroscience how our brain works and how subconscious works around money okay so yes new when we are talking about neuroscience chemical locha we must have uh, like everyone must have seen chemical locha uh in the bollywood movie right which movie yeah. can you, can anyone <laughs> tell the name <laughs> munna bhai yes munna bhai so that uh, that chemical locha is nothing but neurochemicals and one of them is uh dose dose anyone can explain what is dose dopamine uh oxytocin serotonin uh, and uh, and uh, one more i forgot the e yes yes um, yes yes correct yeah. correct perfect so yes endorphins endorphins yeah. yes dopamine oxytocin serotonin and endorphins these are the pleasure uh, you can say pleasure hormones or pleasure chemicals okay and cortisol is one of the stress related hormone okay so how what why we are talking about now from money so much my numbers now i am going into chemical come on raul already we are here from uh, almost 3 hours now and you are now taking us to chemistry but why we are talking this is like neuroscience why neuroscience is important like we will talk about there are 
lot of things in neuroscience, you know, even neurochemicals. But I'm just explaining to one of the behaviors, how we associate ourselves with money is like spending and saving. Yes, everyone does that. Either uh, we save money, some part of money and we spend money. So when we associate uh, our spending habit with these dose, these four pleasure hormones or pleasure chemicals, we tend to spend a lot. We like we get like uh, that dose or we get the, like a uh, pleasure while spending. And those those spenders, those who spend a lot of money, like you might have uh, known your some of your friends or relatives, the Amazon back boxes keep coming to their houses every two, three days, maybe two or two times in a day. And they spend a lot. They get that like a, a dose of these four uh, chemicals. And that's why they become a spenders. Okay, they get, initially they just get uh, some pleasure and then they get into the habit of getting that dose. And now they become spender. They cannot stop themselves, literally. I have seen people like that. And uh, like not only like spending while buying it, while they uh, check out like uh, the parcel is now for out for delivery, they get those the dose again and again. The dopamine always secret again and again, and they get pleasure out of that. Okay, so that's how uh, neuroscience work in terms of money. And uh, that applies, uh, applies to many aspects of spending, but just this is one of the things. Apart from that cortisol, what happened with cortisol? Why now cortisol into the picture? Reason, many people buy uh, maybe some childhood reasons or whatever. Sometimes they uh, attach money spending with the cortisol, basically the uh, the hormone which is uh, responsible for stress and they get stress you might have seen many people like they while spending they like very get stressed or they get their mood changes if they need to spend a lot they feel nervous okay why because they associated their spending habit with the cortisol and then now they become savers whereas first one becomes spenders and that forms our habits and our habit forms our stage where we are at the wealthy stage or we are at the independent stage and whether we are we are st uh, stuck with the first two three phases okay habits are very important so this is very i'm just explaining in just very small small examples neuroscience is a, a big 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 stream and in even neuroscience around money we can have two three work uh, so it is r r r yes group that started that trend is started okay so you have any questions hello who was that Hari, what was your question was that question or you were confirming whether i'm re really really re rich rich or not <laughs> <laughs> but anyway now, that was name given I in the, my college they, i think now they all are in the mood of dinner it seems <laughs> okay, okay okay that's why i'm uh, uh, covering faster and other thing we can do, because uh, we started a little late i can cover some topic tomorrow we are yeah. talking about some like skills and all those things in that also we can cover some of the topic there is no point uh, i mean like there is no um, because there are few points still remaining and I want to uh, like go like as detail as possible. So what to do, ma'am? Okay, fine. We, we can, we can continue in the next session. And okay. Right now we can just wind up. Yes. Yes. I understand the time and I still have few slides left. So it's better to uh, like do it tomorrow. Yeah. And I will give that uh, Excel file. It is Excel file where you need to just, I will explain about that, ma'am. Okay. Okay. So that is one of the file where you need to uh, just give some like details. It is about financial record. I talked about uh, COVID-19, right? And people I have seen like struggle with the finances of when they stuck with these. COVID-19. So this is one of the file, which is just to keep the records. Okay. Your family must be knowing about where you invested, what you have done with uh, 
the finances what are the insurances so this is just simple file may and uh, i'm sure if there are people from like a singapore also they can lit with little bit of changes they can use the uh, same file it's like some, some things are like uh, they there are names bsnl or something so yes bsnl is not applicable <laughs> definitely in singapore but still uh, with little bit of changes you can use it so this is about can you see the screen and excel yes, file yes 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 so what my family should know this is very important because like it is not only uh, for the crisis or some like difficult times even for the knowledge about where you stand right now this is one of the important part like to note down everything and it is very much in details about like your med claim vehicle insurance even as i mentioned there are some details about bsnl maybe pan card and all that is not applicable but you can see electricity bsnl line landline details so even everything is there so i like to share this with you please uh, take it as uh, your uh, weekend uh, weekend uh, like uh, uh, homework and you can feel it and it is for your space no need to share obviously no need to share with uh, anyone here you need you can share it with your family so that they will get a lot of uh, clarity about how right, it's very important very very, very important document okay so i will share today only instead of uh, the plan was to after at the end of session but i will share today in our whatsapp group okay. is that okay okay fine thank, thank you. you thank yes. you thank you okay. so, so there is a lot to talk and mm -hmm. that's the reason i like many times i face this uh, on this topic special so thank you very much everyone now see you tomorrow sharp at 10 o'clock in the best yeah. mood with the best preparations okay. and tomorrow you all are going to launch your own company so please keep in mind think of something what you are going to do extra as rahul has said there should be different source of income even if you are having a job then also you think of doing something different and then see you tomorrow everyone at 10 o'clock with the same link thank, thank you very you. much yeah. take thank care you, ma good night Thank you. Thank you very much. Good night, thank everyone. Good night, Bye. Night, thank sir. you, everyone. And I have a have a very good night. Thank you, good, good night, night to everyone. Sweet dreams to everyone.